Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 31st of August, and today we are stealing three parts of the Clawless Mark II while avoiding alarms as much as possible. Running a little bit late today, had to turn back time, but let's see what we got. We got Weak, Supplier, Tough, X Off World, Armor Piercing Rifle, it's Quiet, which is decent, Crash Beam's excellent, Stealth Shield's excellent. Okay, okay, okay. We got some good stuff here. We have a quiet automatic to take care of a bunch of people. We've got crash beams for shields. And for disabling alarms if we need to. And it's long range as well, so that's quite nice. All right. So, avoiding alarms. Uh, it's times like these that I really wish we had a visitor. It's all right. So, I can start off with maybe getting your key. Shooting. So, shoot, shoot. Crash beam. I should have used stealth shield probably. How far does this reach? That's plenty. All right, so I'll shoot at you. This is quiet. All right. Shoot at you. Walk this way a little bit. Shoot at you. Walk this way a little bit, and then I might be able to get you as well. There we go. Get more quiet weapons. Someone's seeing me. I'd prefer if you just don't for the time being. Thank you very much. And then we'll walk up here. And I thought I could walk through the top of here, but oh well. This is still fine. This is a way to guarantee that we don't lose for this ship. Okay. A lot of guns. We get a something. It's a something. It's a stealth shield. All right, don't have to worry about alarms, but you might have an item. So we'll go and take that and we don't get anything there. Okay, nice and smooth. 18 seconds. Not much you can do when you have to walk the whole way. As far as speed goes. All right, concussive gun, random kits, 40 seconds. So it is orbiting, but not too tightly, though it is far away. Need to keep that in mind. Got a slightly annoying dock. Looks like it's orbiting the star to the right of it. Probably, hopefully. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Okay, I was hoping for... Well, Glitch Dash wouldn't help all that much. Unless everyone had it. Okay, so gotta walk to the right, because we got nothing to break past these doors. Luckily, all of our stuff is quiet, so we don't have to worry about them. And then we got a crate right here, so might as well go for it. Take another step up. Couple of shotguns will do a lot of damage. All of my stuff is concussive, so I don't need to worry about you. And grab this. Subverter. All right, that's good. 
Um, might as well walk through here. That crate's basically on the way. And we can disable the alarm that way. Take you out. Most importantly, take you out. Take you out. I don't need to bother with the key because I've got this. <laughs> that was funny. All right, Swapper. Very nice. That's a... Uh, we got a Subverter, so we don't have to worry about you. But you might have an item, so we'll swap with you instead. And then you'll set off the alarm, but no one's there to accept that alarm request. Shoot you so we don't get shot at. Okay. Open crate. And we got a something. A beam. Don't really care for that. Don't have swapper for a second. Surprised that guy hasn't tried to set off the alarm unless they just unless they did while I wasn't looking. No, they haven't. That is weird. Why did they not set off the alarm for the body? That is very weird. Okay, 20 seconds. Having the swapper before the ship would have helped quite a bit. Same with the subverter, but both of those are good. Yeah, all right. Oh, good for ship three. Should finish my thoughts. Glitch dash, emergency shield, heavy reinforcements. Okay. If it isn't obvious, I'm trying to do this one fast. That's actually worse, probably. Worst. At best, it's roughly equal. The locked door. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's roughly equal. Oh, no, it's actually worse because I have a swapper and can go directly there. So swap, walk around. That's a lot of... Hmm, that's actually a lot... of people that we can't soup. Well, we got stealth shield. Never mind. I'm fine with not taking your stuff because then I'll have to deal with using or worrying about the alarm. I'll steal, walk up here. How are we getting out of here? Didn't think about that. Should have, should have disabled the alarm, but it's too late for that. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, we got a situation here. All right, most important thing above anything else is crash this guy. Okay. Most important thing has been taken care of. Keeping an eye on everyone. I don't need their gun. Because I can't set off the alarm. Whoa, that was close. Uh, I can just press E. 
Yep, it's, I still attracted all their attention anyways. That's fine. Okay. Can I get out of here without them? I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. All right. Using this here. All right. If we're very lucky, we get a visitor. We don't get a visitor. We get something. A grenade launcher, a subverter grenade launcher. All right, that's that's very helpful in a pinch. All right, walk down here. We could use. Where's the best subverter spot? This one's decent enough. Get their attention, and we'll just walk along this side so we don't have to worry about them. Dodge down here. I'm gonna crash this, and them, and them, and them. So now no one can set off the alarm over here. All right, all the doors are closed. None of you can set off the alarm. And out we go. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we would have saved some time and some effort by taking out the pilot. But I realized that too late. Okay, and then the ship's unloaded, so no chance for more alarms. We've got the target item. Okay. 27 seconds. Pretty slow, but all we had was that little swapper. And let's see how we did. Bloop. And 7-2 beating me by six seconds. Um, let's see. The trek back to the window was pretty long. But was it six seconds longer than it would have been to go to the pilot first? That's difficult to say. I feel like my gut says 7-2 did something else that also gained a second or two. But I could be wrong about that. Um, but yeah, either way, should have should have gone to the pilot first, knocked him out. Then I could have done the rest with reckless, not reckless abandon, because there's still a tracker that could shoot me. But which, if you get the tracker, so if you take out the pilot, you can take out the tracker and then shoot the engine while you run in and grab the item. Steel items could also have been different. Steel items being different could lead to a quite a large time difference in any of the three ships. I don't think any of the ones I got were relevant in the end. So yeah, there's a couple things that could have changed, uh, but I'm willing to bet that 7-2 probably knocked out the pilot or got a visitor on ship three in the steel crate. Oh uh, yeah, that's my prediction. Yesterday, or er, yeah, so here's how it currently lines up. Yesterday. Came in first with 29 seconds and a 599. Very happy with yesterday's. Got a lot of good equipment and used it all efficiently on ship three. I was very happy. We have 7-2 coming in second, Cassandra in third, Hecateris in fourth, and Tom Jackal in fifth place. Don't recognize your name up here, Tom Jackal. Welcome to the top five. 
And with that, that is all for today's daily challenge. I like how I, I can't remember if I said it or if I just thought it, but I was going pretty fast on this one and efficiently in real time. And then I spent just several minutes talking about it afterwards. Funny. Uh, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow.